Good morning. This is Kasturi Day. Today I am going to start with the Class Seven syllabus, ICSC syllabus, Class Seven Chemistry section, Chemistry subject. I'll discuss today with the matter and its composition. I am doing this to uh, meet some of my friends' requests uh, to start with chemistry and physics. So I started today. I'm starting today with chemistry. Later on, I'll start with physics also. Okay. Uh, now uh, I'm continuing with the um, starting with matter and its composition. Now, what is matter? Anything that occupies space and has mass. Okay. That is called matter. For example, the food we are eating, the water we are drinking, the air we are breathing, the clothes we are wearing, the book. pen chair whatever it is whatever is around us whatever we are using all our matter all are occupying space and have mass okay the space they occupy is their volume therefore the space occupied by a body is called its volume okay now for example the space of a football occupies is greater than the space of a tennis ball okay therefore that is the volume of a football is greater than that of a tennis ball okay the amount of matter anything uh, which anything contains is called its mass anything whatever uh, whatever the substance is whatever the substance the amount of matter it contains is its mass therefore the quantity of matter that a body contains is known its mass as known as its mass okay for example if we hold a book we can feel its mass we can feel that it's heavy or light whatever it is so as the mass increases weight increases the, for example a glass full of water weighs more than a half a glass of water okay now what is the composition of matter what is the matter composed of it is composed of elements now what is element an element is a substance that cannot be split into simpler substances by any chemical means okay it cannot be split into simpler substances by any chemical means that is an element for example hydrogen nitrogen oxygen iron copper etc is an element okay now when two or more elements combine chemically when two or more elements combine chemically they form a compound okay now therefore a compound can be split into its constituent elements by a chemical means okay therefore a substance that can be split into simpler substances by a chemical means is called a compound okay then so for compound compound can be defined in uh, two ways both the ways are correct like a compound can be split into its constituent elements by a chemical means or a substance that can be split into simpler substances by a chemical means is called a compound for example hydrogen which is an element and oxygen is also an element when they combine chemically we form another new substance that is called water that's a compound okay now this water this is a compound i told you then when we uh, when we split the water by any chemical means then we can see that the two uh, constituent elements are formed like uh, the hydrogen and oxygen these two are elements i told you so therefore this water can be split into hydrogen and oxygen by chemical means therefore water is a compound again carbon and oxygen these two are elements when they combine chemically they form a carbon dioxide compound again comp carbon dioxide can be split into carbon and oxygen by chemical means only then elements dividing and subdividing a time can came when uh, these elements cannot be subdivided cannot be divided that part element they can be divided and subdivided okay and a time comes when 
you cannot further divide the element. Okay. This part of that element is called the atom. Which take part in the chemical reaction like the element. Okay. So that part is the atom. So therefore the atom is the smallest part of an element that takes part in a chemical reaction. Okay. So it is the smallest possible unit of matter that exhibits all the properties of the matter. Okay. It's the smallest possible unit of matter. Okay. Which can, which exhibit all the properties of that matter. Atoms do not exist independently. We cannot find that atoms exist independently. They always combine with one another to form a minute particle called molecule. So therefore, a molecule is the smallest part of an element or a of a compound that is capable of independent existence. Okay. I told you that atom is the smallest part of the element, smallest part of the element which can take part in a particular chemical react uh, in, 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 in a chemical reaction and they have all the properties of that uh, matter. But as atom cannot exist freely, it combines with another atom of the same um, so same element or of different element. But uh, of, if, this, if they combine with the same element, they form a molecule. Okay. And if they combine with a different element, then it forms a compound. Okay. So if they uh, form, uh, uh, always they form uh, with, uh, they combine with one another. Okay, and they form a independent exist. They, they form this combination is to in, exist independently. And that existence is called a molecule. Okay, therefore a molecule of an element of the atoms of the same element. A molecule of an element is atoms of the same element. A molecule of a compound is atoms of different element. Okay. I told you that the, if they combine of the same element, then it is a, an element. And if they combine, uh, com, combine with another element, atom of another element, then it forms the molecule of a compound. Then what is molecule? Its atoms combine in fixed whole numbers. Okay. A molecule represented is represented by a formula. Which indicates the number of atoms of the same or different elements in that molecule. Okay. Is that when a molecule is formed, there is a fixed uh, ratio of the atoms combining together. Okay. Like for example, when hydrogen and oxygen, hydrogen when... Uh, one atom of hydrogen combines with one atom of hydrogen to form one molecule of hydrogen. Okay. Uh, similarly, one atom of oxygen combines with one atom of oxygen combines with another atom of oxygen. That is three atoms of oxygen combining together to form one atom of ozone. O3 that is. Like this is of the same element molecule, a com, uh, the atoms are of the same element combining together that is a, forming a molecule of an element. Now if uh, we form a molecule of a compound then we can see that if one uh, atom of oxygen combining with two atoms of hydrogen then we get one molecule of water. Okay, two different elements combining to form uh, two different, uh, uh, sorry, uh, uh, the atoms of uh, two different elements combining together to form one molecule of a compound. Okay. Then for, uh, similarly, one atom of nitrogen combining with three atoms of hydrogen to form one molecule of ammonia. This ratio, this one atom to three atoms of hydrogen, this ratio should be uh, fixed to form a molecule. If this ratio differs, the compound will also differ. Okay. So, uh, a, a molecule is represented by a formula. This NH3, 
This ammonia molecule is represented by a formula called NH3, N for nitrogen, H for hydrogen and three molecules as three atoms of hydrogen is combining with one atom of nitrogen. Therefore, this is forming an uh, uh, ammonia compound molecule, one molecule of ammonia compound, okay. So, this is represented by formula NH3. So, this indicates that the number of atoms, uh, how many number of atoms are combining of different elements to form a one molecule of that compound. Okay. The number of combining atoms are fixed, I told you. Okay. Then, we come to the characteristics of particles of the matter. Properties of matter. On the basis of the arrangement and characteristics of particles like atoms and molecules from which they are formed. Okay. The properties of matter, uh, how can we get the properties of matter? They are based on the arrangement and characteristics of the particles. What are the particles? Atoms and molecules. So, uh, based on the uh, characteristics of these atoms and molecules and basis of their arrangement, we can get the properties of matter okay so uh, i'll discuss with this in the next video uh, please go through the first uh, part and if you have any, any uh, doubt please do write in the comment box and uh, please uh, subscribe so that you can get the notification of my next video and please press the like button if you like the video okay and please go through my uh, biology sections also uh, biology subjects so that you can clarify your doubts and if you have any doubts you can please write in the comment box so that I can clarify your doubts. Thank you.